Jason Sudeikis on the secret history of AFC Richmond. Paul Cripps is like, you know, our, our set designer, mm -hmm. production designer. And Brendan, Joe and I gave all like this silly backstory of the club. Like their yeah. first coach was a sack of potatoes. I forget what year their origin was. In order to have a team, you had to have a coach who wore a hat. And so the boys put a hat, that hat, on a giant sack of potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> and so Paul, like, just had his way with it. Yeah. One of my favorite jokes that got cut from the pilot was when Rebecca and Ted are over at the owners. And this is a wall of our previous owners. Okay. They're looking at them all, and he's like, wait, is that who I think it is? And it's a picture of Freddie Mercury. Yeah. As an, uh, w w Freddie Mercury owned Richmond from like 79 to 80, which was our little take on an homage to uh, Elton John owning, um, oh gosh, anybody remember? Watford. Watford, thank you. <laughs> owning Watford, yeah. Someone, <laughs> someone knows. Someone knows in this town. It's one of the nice things, yeah. one of the nice things. Uh, and so that's why Paul put this microphone up. This because is, that's the... That's, that's Freddie Mercury's microphone. That's we, incredible. We, we weren't allowed yeah. to, to do the joke in the moment because we couldn't get the rights to use a photo of Freddie Mercury. Yeah. And, you know, it was all love and, and, and I mean... That's awesome. We've never heard about Freddie Mercury since. Yeah. No, it's, it's <laughs> like, no, our loss. 100% our loss. <laughs>